Hi, it's Katrina. Number 10. UFO in Antarctica Antarctica is a cold, barren, utterly inhospitable wasteland in the middle of nowhere. And it was here, on one of the most remote pieces of land in the world, that a UFO was allegedly discovered. A researcher recently claimed that while looking through satellite images of the icy continent, they found an unidentified object stuck in a block of ice. That chunk of ice appears to have been melting recently, likely due to global warming, and it has revealed a gigantic metallic disk. The disk looks to be about 60 feet wide and obviously designed by an intelligent being, obviously. It's not just a rock or some natural formation. It looks perfectly circular, like a real flying disk. And it's unlike anything else in the satellite images. Unfortunately, there is no reliable way to prove if this really is an alien vessel unless someone flies to Antarctica to check it out. It definitely looks like a ship that crashed and then was frozen over by ice millions of years ago. If real, it could prove that aliens landed on the planet long before human beings ever even evolved. Then again, it might be nothing at all. Skeptics say it's most likely just a pool of water that happens to look kind of metallic and a little like a UFO. Which side are you on? Let me know in the comments below. Number 9. The Blythe Intaglios Desert Geoglyphs The Blythe Intaglios is a collection of very peculiar geoglyphs found in the Colorado desert. These geoglyphs are just as strange as the more famous ones in Peru known as the Nazca Lines. There are over 200 of them in the region, with many displaying otherworldly creatures, strange animals, and weird spiral patterns. They were first identified by explorers in the 19th century, then rediscovered in 1932 when a pilot was flying from Las Vegas to Blythe. After they were spotted in 1932 in the middle of the desert, Arthur Woodward of the Natural History Museum of Los Angeles County conducted a survey. The whole area was finally put on the National Register of Historic Places in 1982. But what do we know about these weird geoglyphs and the people who made them? They were created by lightly grazing the first few layers of rocks and pebbles to reveal the light soil underneath. Basically, they were scraped into existence by hand. The largest of the geoglyphs is 171 feet long and only visible from the air leading many to wonder how in the world it was created and estimated 2,000 years ago. Some speculate the Mojave were the ones behind the geoglyphs, modeling the giant humans after their creator god, Mastamo. Others say it may have been an unknown group of early Native Americans drawing figures to catch the attention of mysterious visitors in the sky. Number 8. The Mystery Island of St. Kilda when it comes to remote places, St. Kilda is about as isolated as it gets. The St. Kilda Archipelago in Scotland is a collection of tiny islands over 40 miles from the Western Isles, which themselves are considered in the middle of nowhere. The last official inhabitants abandoned St. Kilda and moved to mainland Scotland in 1930. But just recently, archaeologists found evidence of people living on the island 2,000 years ago. Researchers found a fragment of what appears to be pottery from the Bronze Age, suggesting St. Kilda has a much deeper history than anyone ever realized. These days, the island is occupied only a few months out of the year by volunteers with the National Trust for Scotland doing scientific tests. It's also occasionally used by the Ministry of Defense for testing radar. But when the company Guard Archaeology carried out an excavation in 2019, they were shocked to find pottery shards radiocarbon dated to around the 1st century BC. They also uncovered evidence of Iron Age occupation starting around the 4th century BC, pointing to a continuous population on the island. Right now, this is a huge unsolved mystery. Nobody knows how many people lived here. Not a single house or structure was found. There is also no evidence of abandonment, meaning we don't know when people picked up and left or why. We don't even know what group of people called St. Kilda home. And now for number 7. But first, it's shout out time! I want to say a big thank you to Eric M and Annie Theron for supporting this channel. Be sure to subscribe if you haven't already for more videos about amazing discoveries. Number 7. Crumbling Roman Ship Archaeologists investigating the ancient port city of Bardbir, located on the banks of the Zadar River in rural Croatia, discovered something miraculous. 
After six long years of research, they uncovered a Roman ship from the first century city on the riverbed. The ship was partially eaten by worms and eroded by sand bashing against it for 2,000 years. But it's still largely intact. The port city was discovered in 1973, but nobody really started looking at it until 2017. It's in such an isolated place that archaeologists never really took an interest in it. But when they did start to investigate, they found all kinds of stuff. They found a Roman villa partly destroyed, along with other remnants of the original port town. The researchers also came across some old structures from the original Roman pier. The pier was built roughly 1900 years ago to receive trade items from other parts of the Mediterranean, such as Greece, Arabia, and Turkey. There was also a lot of trade coming in from North Africa. Near the pier, at the bottom of the river, researchers came across bronze coins. Then they found a metal nail, and then came the ship itself. They believe the ship was built about 100 years after the city was founded. It was likely used as a trading vessel before it sank to the bottom of the river for unknown reasons. Number 6. Secret Space Program Something strange is going on in the Gobi Desert. Reports have been coming in about multiple bases suddenly appearing in one of the remotest places in the world, then disappearing just as suddenly. The Gobi Desert is enormous, stretching across huge portions of Mongolia and China. The parts we're talking about today are specifically in China. Using satellite images, researchers have uncovered creepy abandoned bases situated throughout the Gobi Desert in northern China. Mysterious bases in the middle of absolute nowhere, with nothing but rough dirt tracks leading to them. Some of them even looked burnt, as if they were incinerated when the people left. People are starting to say this is a secret space program that China doesn't want anyone to know about. There are tarmacs that have been carved seemingly overnight, small industrial complexes left scorched after abandonment. There are at least two main compounds, one of which still has airplanes and other vehicles positioned within its borders. Then there's the extremely strange geometric pattern found by itself in the desert. This thing is a rectangle carved with what look like city streets inside. It looks like a blueprint for any average American suburb, and some say it may have been used to simulate the effects of a bomb or other weapons on a civilian neighborhood. Nothing has been confirmed yet. All we know now is that something weird is going on in the Gobi Desert, and nobody has any answers. Number 5. The Oasis Mummy At an Egyptian oasis located in the remote Bahariya Desert, almost 200 miles from Cairo, a mysterious sarcophagus was discovered. Lead archaeologist Mahmoud Afifi said the burial style indicated the sarcophagus came from the Roman period. That was from between 31 BC until the Arab invasion claimed Egypt in the 7th century. The sarcophagus contained the mummified remains of a woman who likely died about 2,000 years ago. She was only 3 feet tall, her body completely molded in plaster and preserved underneath. Nobody knows who this woman was in life, nor what in the world she was doing at the burial ground. She was found in one of 14 newly discovered tombs hiding in the oasis but it's the only one that was done in the Roman style. After the Romans took control of Egypt, traditions began to change. Mummification continued, but it would never again be the same. The Roman style of mummification involved leaving a portrait of the deceased on the sarcophagus. Upper-class people who died had shockingly beautiful portraits of themselves painted on wooden boards attached directly to their mummy or on their sarcophagus. In the case of this mystery woman buried way out in the middle of the desert, the sarcophagus was carved in her likeness. Her face, her necklace, her clothing, everything was perfectly detailed down to her shoes. It wasn't a big stone coffin, but physically molded to look just like the woman whose body it contained. Number 4. The Abandoned Cottage Colin is an urban explorer who likes to roam deep into the middle of nowhere and document his journeys. It was on one of these recent trips that he stumbled upon an unbelievable abandoned cottage hiding in the forest. Colin and his partner found the cottage down a winding dirt road long since abandoned. The way was blocked by years of fallen trees and scattered debris. He had been expecting to enter a broken and decrepit shack. 
Instead, the interior was shockingly preserved, like a time capsule frozen for at least 30 years. It looked as though the cabin in the middle of nowhere was still waiting for its owners to come back home. This was a strange discovery, because it was creepy while at the same time kind of magical. Nature reclaimed the cottage long ago, and so it was already being eaten by trees and bushes by the time Colin and his partner found it. But inside the cabin, they found a home completely intact. Whoever lived there had vacated the premises in a real hurry, and they hadn't taken anything with them. There were black and white photographs of people scattered throughout, people who Colin had to assume were the original owners. There were clothes hung up to dry, food stashed in the cupboards, and valuable personal items sitting out on the tables. It looked like whoever lived in the cabin went for a walk decades ago and never found their way back. Number 3. Weird Alien Sacks A dog walker in England was strolling along a remote stretch of beach when they came upon some extraordinarily unusual objects. The dog walker, named Helen Marlowe, found white fleshy lumps that looked like alien sacks covered in sand. They resembled deflated flotation devices, like empty alien placentas tangled up in seaweed. Helen was baffled. She told Life Science in an email they looked like a white, fleshy substance, an indefinable mass of white goo. Because she found them shortly after the tide had gone back out, they must have just washed ashore that day. But weirdly enough, they didn't give off any nasty, rotting smell like you would expect with a dead animal washed ashore. When she nudged it with her boot, it wobbled like congealed jelly. Then her dog got really excited and tried to rub its body all over the mysterious lump, suggesting it was organic. Curious, Helen uploaded the photographs to the British Marine Life Study Society group to find out what they were. Some people suggested a whale placenta, wet sandbags, and even a deflated weather balloon. But the most likely answer is a whale's stomach. Experts from the UK's Cetacean Strandings Investigation Program said the alien sacs were actually just a single whale stomach that probably came from a decomposing whale not far from the coastline. And this is where things get really disgusting. Sea scavengers and birds likely tore an opening in the whale's flesh and blubber because they prefer to feed on soft tissue. Then, with its skin opened up, the whale's stomach floated away to wash up on the beach. Number 2. Mystery Carnivore Researchers with the World Wildlife Foundation discovered something extraordinary in the dense and highly unexplored jungles of Borneo. A camera trap photographed an animal that researchers said had never been seen before. The camera took two photos of what appeared to be a mammal a little larger than a domestic cat. The creature had dark red fur, a long fluffy tail, and was likely a carnivore. If true, the discovery will mark the first time in over 100 years that a new carnivore has been found in Borneo. Finding a new carnivore anywhere in the world in this day and age is practically a miracle. However, researchers with the World Wildlife Fund have yet to establish whether the mystery creature is a new species or what it even is. It almost looked like it could be a marten, something that's kind of a mix between a cat and a fox. But after those images were snapped, nobody saw the animal again. To make matters worse, the photos were taken over 15 years ago. We have two snapshots of a carnivorous mammal that was never seen again and was never identified. Somewhere in Borneo is a mystery creature unknown to science stalking its prey. Number 1. The Mysterious Fairy Circles for over five decades, ecologists have been struggling to make sense of the mysterious fairy circles in the middle of the Namib Desert of southern Africa. These weird circular patches look like cigar burns spread across 1,100 miles of arid grassland. When these things were first discovered, there were a lot of crazy conspiracies going around. People believed they were patterns in the desert left behind by a secret lost society. Some even claimed extraterrestrials left them behind, although nobody could ever say why. Fifty years later, and we still don't have a clear explanation. The closest scientists have come to solving the mystery is a theory involving termites. Some believe the circles are the remnants of termite nests spread all across the desert. But now things have changed. Scientists believe they have a better explanation. 
Researchers from the University of Göttingen in Germany studied the fairy circles after heavy rainfall seasons in 2021 and 2022. What they found is that the grass surrounding these circles, which are totally barren, suck all the water that falls into these circles. Scientists believe they are a form of evolution. Natural circles have formed amidst the grassland to give the grass a better chance of surviving. Instead of one long, grassy plain, it's broken up by the circles as a way to save water. Thanks for watching! Which of these strange discoveries did you find the most interesting? Let me know in the comments below and remember to hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. See you soon! Bye!